Caddis Maxis here this time just doing a little video about my bottle opener collection. This actually isn't even all of them. I have a few more I think buried somewhere in my desk, but this is a majority of them. Hunting around for tools I noticed that there's a variety of bottle openers. So a few years ago I started collecting them up and uh, like anything else in a world with like 8 million people there is a huge variety of bottle openers. And uh, I'll try to get through this as quickly as possible. This, I don't know what this is. It's either some component to some kind of equipment or machinery or some kind of specialized tool. Uh, but what I found is that this just works absolutely like a champ. This is one of the best bottle openers I've ever run into. Just because you can put it flat against the bottle, lift up, get over the top, go this way. You can use these angles. It's this heavy plate steel, it's about a half inch thick. Uh, this thing is incredible. So that's going to be the heaviest duty bottle opener. The second heaviest duty was a uh, bicycle tool that I pressed out the little uh, insert that was in here. But this is a really pretty thick, like 16th inch steel. This thing is a super duty bottle opener. This thing will break the top off the bottle if you let it. This one's kind of unique. This is a an old school. Surprisingly enough, it was patented and... American made. This is a jar opener. It's actually kind of an interesting design because you pull it, this little wing comes out, there are these little notches on the inside. This is where you grip the bottle and, or the can jar opener, that type of thing. And then you press and it just cinches a little bit and then you use this to get extra leverage. It has like a vent poking tool there. But of course, um, it has a bottle opener on it and so that's why I have it in my bottle opener <laughs> collection we have some of these odd uh, cast ones here like this cast dolphin these are actually less common but these are have both twist top openers which is less common and as well as standard flip type bottle openers and so we have a dolphin and a bottle but finding the twist top that and this one right here which is specifically only for unscrewing twist tops. This does not have a standard flip up type opener, but uh, I thought that was kind of interesting, but super rare to actually run in the ones uh, that are twist top type bottle openers. Probably should have organized these a little better before I got into it. Um, <laughs> let's get some of these kind of reorganized here. We'll get into these. How about all these little things here? These are these stamped aluminum styles. I've never been to Hawaii, but apparently these things are popular. We got a flip flop and a turtle uh, aluminum bottle opener. We've got this little heart shape or one with a harp shape end on it. We've got just got jammed. We've got this little green duck aluminum opener. Uh, we've got a horse. And then this one, which is a monkey's, <laughs> which is a moose type bottle opener. This one doesn't work very well because that isn't particularly sharp. But you open it with the horn. So I thought those were kind of interesting. This one is down here. This one down here. I have no idea where this came from. But this has a quarter inch hex. And it's actually. It must have come with some kind of tool kit. The hex was not welded on particularly straight or centered. But you would put it like in a screwdriver. Or a quarter inch hex extension. Any, something like this here. And then you can just use the screwdriver. And it becomes... A bottle opener it's a little stubby like this but I thought uh, that was kind of interesting idea to have a quarter inch hex bottle opener a couple of palm trees I believe these are both from the same company because the palm tree patterns about the same but this is just a cast I think it's cast zinc one here and then this is a silicone covered uh, palm tree opener we've got other plastic coated this is an oxo one which I actually think is not too bad I kind of like the design of that one this is obviously for weddings. Uh, this one's actually one of the weakest ones. And I don't, you know, if you have a particularly thick cap on the bottle, I think this thing would end up breaking. But love forever. So I figured that was from uh, some type of wedding or something along those lines. We have this one, which I think is, I believe is stainless steel. Super thick. Have no idea because this Helitech, I sw searched on Google for this company, and there is like, apparently it's a pretty common company name, because I found everything from aviation uh, service and maintenance companies to flooring restoration companies, 
So apparently there's a variety of companies called Helitech, so who knows um, where this one came from, but this is also super duty, really heavy, and uh, pretty impressive bottle opener, can be used in either direction. Just thought this thing was kind of neat. We have these flat style ones here, and so I don't actually drink alcohol at all, but... Uh, once again, just started running in these bottle openers and decide I'd start picking them up. Probably build up a good collection, and I have. This one's a flat metal, but it's curved. Kind of like this one just because it's a little easier to use. This is another style. These are some short ones. Different styles. You have ones that are like this or like this. Uh, it's Fireball Whiskey, uh, Blue Moon, I guess some other kind of beer. This is just an absolutely blank one. This is from some restaurant chain. Uh, a lift one. We have this, another Fireball Whiskey keychain one. There we go. It's easier if I start clearing the table. We have a bunch of these other kind of flat multi tool style ones. This, I have no idea what it is. It's just kind of a funky shaped bottle opener. These are kind of like multi tools. You can turn like bolts and various things. But of course, this is also a bottle opener. We actually even have like a little. Phillips head screw thing there and the bottle opener portions right here so you either use this part of his legs or this part of the bear's legs uh, this is another monkey tool which has of course a bottle opener here or this style this has a couple on it this is a, another type of bottle opener open it this way um, same thing here although this is like you know there's a variety of these like you know multi tools that you stick in your wallet this one has a bottle opener on it, but I think, you know, it ha I think you'd use this one. This, I think, is more of a can piercer because it has that sharp edge. This is a, come on camera, uh, an Atwood style one here. Uh, this is a Sheffield style one. And I don't know, this is just a, just a credit card size uh, bottle opener. Just crazy how many different styles and variations there are. We'll get into these. I don't know who made this one, but these are like can piercer, can opener style ones. This just happens to be a larger style one. This happens to be a gold plated one. It actually says something right there. I'm not sure what. Uh, it says Taiwan. I kind of like this one. This just has a really aggressive gnarled handle and uh, kind of a funky style one. We have this one, which is surprisingly enough an Italian made one. And, you know, a can piercer style with a bottle opener. This one just happened to be extra thick. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, this is another Hawaiian one. So that's Colonial USA up there. We have a variety of uh, really, well, we have a couple of these really simple ones. Here's an old school one, an old Blitz Weinhard. This is another beer one. These are just simple wire type, stamped wire type ones. This is actually a paint can opener, but it works well for opening bottles. It's just an old Montgomery Award, so that's why I picked it up. We have the uh, Kegland one. And what I find interesting is we have a patent there, 1996550. We have this one, which is essentially the very same thing. And same patent number. So, so one of these companies is licensing this. This is a Bergmeister, so Kiglin and Bergmeister. We have Echo, which is a kitchen tool company. From Fandom.com. Here's an older school one. Accurate profile can tapper. This is, I believe, no longer American made one. This is just another copy of the same thing. And then we have this one, which I thought was interesting. Vaughn USA, and I believe this is Vaughn's OG Junior Can Tapper. I believe this is the same Vaughn as the Hammer Company. They make uh, framing hammers for carpentry and construction work. I have a few of these from power tool companies or from power and hand tool companies. They've been these, you can get a whole collection of just these alone. We have a Klein. OEM tools, a Harbor Freight Quinn, a Milwaukee, a Greenlee, and these are just like heavy-duty screwdriver handle uh, bottle openers. 
you know, as far as like really comfort and utilitarian bottle openers, these are probably some of the ones that you'd really want the most just because they just have these big screwdriver handles on them. Do have a liquid filled. I wouldn't drink the liquid in this, but this is a liquid filled acrylic Coca-Cola bottle opener. Um, but this is one I've never used because I'm really worried about the acrylic top breaking out of this thing. I thought that was kind of an interesting bottle opener. This is actually used for golfing, for like divots and pulling, um, that type of thing. I think that's what I believe it's for. But it has like a can tapping feature and it seems to work just fine as a bottle opener. These hooks and everything work just great. Other specialty ones, you know, we have this cast boat anchor bottle opener we have this uh you know pharaohs egyptian pharaohs bottle opener uh this is a little keychain guinness one here have this little turtle unit have this one which i assume probably came from hawaii as well this seemed people seem to buy a lot of bottle openers when they go to hawaii i thought this one was kind of neat uh have this guitar guitar style one this is another just real small keychain style one. Had found this one, which I thought was pretty interesting. It is stainless. First off, it says stainless right here. Pretty heavy duty piece on the end of it. And it has this, um, really kind of intricate handle on it. Thought that was kind of interesting. Pick that up. Uh, have a Bubba, Bubba Gump shrimp uh, bottle opener. Have this compass style one. I think this came from Las Vegas. Yeah, it says Las Vegas right there. So this is a little Las Vegas uh, bottle opener. Here's another one, which uh, some kind of de uh, deity type <laughs> bottle opener. No idea. We have a Predator head bottle opener from the Predator movies. Thought that was kind of interesting. This one's kind of neat because it just sits on the table and it just looks like a metallic starfish, but it actually is also a bottle opener. Have this one, which is, has a big jewel on it. So this is like the Ritzy bottle opener. Thought this one was kind of cool because this is a bicycle chain uh, bottle opener. So you put that on the bottle and you can just hold it like this and pry the lid off, or you can hold it, you know, wrap it around your hand. So I kind of thought this was interesting because of the variety of ways that you can hold it. And the way it's shaped, the chain has actually been, uh, the pins have been pushed out, then it's been, has these special cutouts on the aluminum, so the chain is permanently attached to this, and I thought that was kind of an interesting style bottle opener. Have this one, which is this cast uh, aluminum skull bottle opener and have this one here which i thought was interesting it's kind of like a wrench it has no words on it but it is just a funky cast bottle opener and last but not least let's talk about some bottle openers <laughs> these are cast iron bottle openers and these are some of the heaviest ones uh, that i have in my collection i thought it's odd that there's actually a thing for cast iron bottle openers so we have a cactus we have a turtle i mean these things are solid we have a mustache cast iron bottle opener and then we have uh i believe a shark cast iron bottle opener this one's really solid it's almost you know a bludgeoning tool to tell you the truth anyway just wanted to share my little collection of bottle openers some people do there are people out there who do collect these and i kind of just happenstance have been collecting them after i noticed uh, I started noticing that there were just a bunch of different bottle, different types of bottle openers I was seeing. And now you have an idea that there is just an absolute world of these things. Really surprising. I wonder how many different styles. There's probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of different styles of bottle openers out there. Anyway, see you next time.